and welcome to the Lake District National Park. I'm walking because that's what I do best. I'm heading up to Cat Bells today doing a full Newlands round which is certainly one of the more popular routes here, the horseshoe routes in the Northwestern Lake District. Really excited actually because I've done every single Wainwright and Summit on this round but not as a complete round. So it'd be nice to take that box. Um, we've got options should I feel like it. I can drop down um, past the town and then down through the valley. So I'm actually just <laughs> heading out for a walk today and I thought I'd bring you guys along. The goal is to do the full horseshoe but also sometimes you just got to chill and have a good time in the hills. It's uh, gone 11. I've just been dropped off, had a chill morning. I'm really looking forward to spending the day with you guys. So the start of the walk is at Hawes End Centre. That's where many people park. That's probably where all these cars are coming from. Um, so let's go there. Oh geez, yeah, it's busy. You can see all the people going up. Oh well, <laughs> let's just let it be. <laughs> Almost makes me go, hmm, should I do something else? <laughs> no, it's fine. People are my same species. I am a human. Joking aside, generally it's really nice up in the hills. The walking community, the outdoor community is so friendly and welcoming. Uh, I find I get a bit apprehensive when somewhere's busy, but it always turns out okay in the end. So let today be what today is going to be. A good hike in the mountains. That's where I was yesterday, up over Causey Pike and Crag Hill there. Did the Grisdale round or Coldale round rather, up over Grisdale Pike and around. Got Barrow there in the middle. The route led me towards Gother Scale, where there was a small car park. And from here, I picked up a footpath, signed Cat Bell Summit, one mile. It felt really good to start ascending. The ground underfoot was slabbed and e the ground underfoot was slabbed and gravelled, making for easy going. Here we go. See what I mean? Derwent water. Freaking stunning. Just stretching out here. Gotta love it. The nice thing about cat bells is we get an elevation very quickly, which I always like. <laughs> Derwent water is the third largest lake in the national park by area and is well known for its launch a boat service ferrying passengers across the lake. It is undeniably beautiful and overshadowed by Skiddle, a great bulk of a mountain sitting at 931 metres above sea level. Now Cat Bales, due to its popularity, needs to be protected, so rangers work hard to keep the footpath up to scratch, thus reducing the effect of erosion as a result of heavy footfall. Man, at points that wind gets strong and then you duck down out of it and the heat is like skidoosh. <laughs> but uh, loving the climb, sort of finding myself in between a couple of big groups. It's a little bit stressful, but I'm trying to just be accepting and peaceful. <laughs> um, easier said than done. Anyway, summit's looming ahead. Let's get it done. Lake District walker and writer Alfred Wainwright once said that Cat Bells is one of the great favourites, a family fell where grandparents and infants can climb heights together, a place beloved. Its popularity is well deserved, its shapely top knot attracts the eye, offering a steep but obviously simple scramble. For me, he could not have put the magic of the place any better, a wondrous landscape all around and a fun-filled vibe of support and friendship on the hill. That being said, I found myself wavering on the energy front, so drifted off the trail for a little sit down. I just uh, stopped on the side of the path here to let loads of people go past. I've been sat here for 45 minutes, just enjoying the view and trying to just breathe and get into what is going on in my system. 
obviously I've said today that I've set out to do the Newlands round and I don't know what it is about this round but I don't think I'm gonna get it done today um, I'm just struggling I'm struggling I think with my mental space there's just like a lot of turmoil in my system and there's definitely a time and place for pushing it in the mountains and yesterday you know I really forced myself to do that Coaldale horseshoe and it really helped and then today it feels a bit edgy it feels a bit like okay if I push this um, I could break <laughs> and I don't want that I think I'm actually just gonna try and take the pressure off myself because potentially that is what's just not working for me today um, I'm pretty blessed that I have the opportunity to do this I'm pretty blessed that this is my <laughs> career um, and I think I'm gonna make this just into a cattails walk. So I'm gonna get to the top and then I'm gonna drop down the other side and walk along the shores of Derwent Water down into Keswick essentially. Um, and I'll meet my partner and my friend there and then we'll just chill out this afternoon. It already is the afternoon, I've been sat here that long. Um, but actually, even though it's not an epic walk and I'm not finished like, dripping in sweat and totally pumped, this is a really popular round. In fact, this is one of the most used mountains here in the Lake District. And so I think it's a, a nice opportunity to show you this route. And it's something I ordinarily wouldn't do. So there's a purpose behind all of the things that we go through, or at least we can choose to find a purpose. It's all about that perspective. Right, rejoin the path. It really is an impressive ridge line, isn't it? Obviously, having walked all the way along here, oh, you've got to love it. See all the bilberry bushes growing in amongst the rocks. Super cool where they managed to take hold. They're like, this is base now. <laughs> Here we go, first peak done. Obviously the wind has died down, but this is the top of Catbells, 451. And officially decided a sunrise walk here is in order. The summit of Cat Bells is a really special place. Though not the highest or grandest peak in the area, it represents so much for so many people. And I loved watching folk come and go, celebrating their achievement. We've left the summit of Cat Bells behind. Pretty spectacular spot, really. I mean, you can see why it's so popular. Really accessible um, little walk there. You can either go up or down or round, and that's what I'm doing. I just sat for another 45 minutes. <laughs> um, just really debating and trying to work out things. And uh, I've decided I want to make a pact with you guys. So someday I'm going to come back, or someday not too far, in the next year, come back and I'm going to do the horseshoe but the other way round and see if I can figure out <laughs> the other way round whether this thing is possible <laughs> I don't know maybe it's some kind of like spiritual energy or something but it's all good so I'm sticking with my decision to drop down uh, very shortly at the house um, down to Derwent Water and just have a poodle along the shoreline back to Keswick which actually will be really nice and uh I've enjoyed some good sitting time in the mountains and as I've already alluded to sometimes this is just what it comes to you set yourself a big challenge but actually it's not the environment that's the challenge it's dealing with your head <laughs> and uh, I'm trying to deal with this in a good way so down to Derwent water it is. The route dropped off the eastern flanks of the fell via Howells Gate and promptly descended with epic views ahead of Derwent water and Skiddle. Hiya. Hiya. Hi. It's pretty cool, really, to think we're going to be dropping down and then winding our way along the shore. 
I'm really looking forward to that actually. Looping all the way around, got all the crags, load of falls, which is one of the waterfalls in the lakes, very well known. Actually, a little bit further in the forest there. And around in the corner, some glimpses up Borodale Valley, said to be one of the most beautiful valleys in the country. And then of course heading all the way over to Honest to Pass. It's certainly something I've really enjoyed over the last few years is building my own map in my head of the National Park. Getting familiar with all the peaks and summits and the valleys as well. Definitely feel like this place is home now. <laughs> We've got this split here, so you can follow this and essentially it contours the hillside all the way back round to the starting point. Or we're gonna be going right, hit the road, right again and then we'll pick up the Cumbria Way which will take us along the shores of Derwent. Here's the road. Good stuff. Look at this landscape though. I mean, come rain or shine, it's stunning, but particularly in the sunshine. Nowhere else in the world like the Lake District, I'd say. Plenty of other mountain places that are super cool, but the lakes has got a special charm. So we are on the Cumbria Way. First a little bit of tranquil farmland walking, and then we'll pick up the shore of Derwent Water. To Ford or to Bridge? To Ford, I think, actually. Far more fun. <laughs> right. Sploosh. <laughs> we have a junction point. This way heads to Derwent Water. This way heads across to Loder, which is the waterfall I mentioned, and then along the other side of the lake. You already know where I'm going. I tell you what, it's really nice down here. I think uh, for someone like me, on a sunny day, the temptation is always get high, push hard. And it is nice just to have chill time and time down in the valleys. There's still a bit of a breeze, so I'm not cooking too much. <laughs> and uh, I don't know, just lose yourself in not just the mountains, but the flora and the fauna down here as well. Here we are then. This is Derwent water. Just stunning. Absolutely stunning. And boy, does it feel good to be here. Geez, if you could smell these right now. Absolutely bonkers. Just such an intense, fragrant smell. Feel the pinks, the purples, uh, the orange rather. Geez, am I colorblind? The yellow. Man, this is cool. Oh, that was purple in the end. <laughs> the teddy in the window. Huh. I've never seen this before. I'm not really sure what to make of today, but I'm definitely choosing to just rest in gratitude that I'm out, that the weather's lovely, that I've managed to climb a little fell. Um, and now I'm on the shores of Derwent Water, although I've just elected to take a higher path as opposed to the shore side, just so that it's a bit quieter. <laughs> um, just the people haven't really thinned out. 
it's an illusion to think that they do. That out of the way, I am meeting my ride at the Hawes End Outdoor Centre. So there's where I'm working across to now. So I'm not even gonna get all the way to Keswick, um, which is fine. <laughs> Days like today happen, and I think it's also just learning to be okay with them, finding peace with them. Um, so that's what I'm doing. And it's beautiful to be amongst the trees right now. So I'm gonna sign off here, this wibbly wobbly film today. And uh, thank you for watching. Um, I hope that you have just perhaps been encouraged to realize that adventure doesn't always mean a massive trek across a continent. <laughs> um, it can just be a simple amble through the Lake District countryside. And I'm really pleased with that today. So guys, enjoy your adventures, whatever size or scale they may be. And until next time, stay wild. Live it up, live it up, live it up.